What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how to change the number of apps per page on the Samsung Galaxy S21 app page. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you go ahead and scroll up on your home screen, you come to this page that contains all of the apps that are downloaded to your device. And if you notice on my screen here, I have one, two, three, four, five columns and one, two, three, four, five, six rows of apps, meaning that my app grid size is a five by six, five apps by six apps. And you are actually able to change that. So maybe for example, you change it to a four by five. So you would have four columns and five rows. And this feature can be useful for a couple reasons. Maybe you are someone who doesn't like scrolling through several pages of apps and instead would rather have fewer pages, but more apps per page. In this case, you could choose a larger grid size. On the other hand, maybe you are someone who prefers fewer apps or folders per page since the icons will be a bit bigger, making it easier to tell what they are. In addition, many apps on one page can look very congested and overwhelming, making it more difficult to find a specific app. In this case, you could choose a smaller grid. Regardless of your preference, this is how you change it. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the home screen. And now what you wanna do is you wanna pull down the notification panel. You wanna tap that gear in the top right corner. Then you wanna click on home screen. And then you wanna click on this one right here that says app screen grid. Now, if you look here, this is a preview of the app page that I showed you earlier, and you are actually able to scroll between your other app pages so you can kind of get a feel for what it will look like. And if I get up a little closer here, you'll notice that there's these little dots that show up in between all of the apps. And those don't really matter for a page like this where there's apps in every spot. But if you go ahead and you scroll to a page that doesn't have a full set of apps, you'll notice it pretty much outlines what the grid will look like. So that way you can kind of get an idea as to what it would look like if you didn't already have a bunch of apps. So if you look at where the DoorDash app is located here, if you take these dots that are around it and you were to draw a rectangle, you'll notice the app fits right inside that rectangle. And that again will allow you to kind of visualize and get an idea for what these apps may look like if you don't have a full page. Now the part that we're trying to get to here for changing the size, you'll notice down here you have four options. So 4x5, 4x6, 5x5, and 5x6. And again, the first number represents how many columns of apps you have, and the second number will represent how many rows you have. So just to show you what that would look like, if I go ahead and switch this to a 4x5, you'll see the preview will change giving you a preview of what it may look like, and you can go ahead and look through all of them to decide which one suits your interest best. Now, if you recall what I mentioned before, using the larger grid is gonna have smaller icons and they're gonna be a bit more congested, but you'll notice I really only have like two and a quarter pages, where if I go ahead and click on the four by five, you'll notice things spread out a lot more, the icons are bigger, but now I have almost three and a half pages. So ultimately it comes down to what balance works best for you. Now there is one thing that I would like to point out. If we take a closer look at this preview here and specifically at this app right here, Acrobat for Samsung, you'll notice that the name is cut off. And maybe you're somebody that wouldn't want the name cut off. So maybe that would be a particular reason that you would go with the smaller one. And you'll notice that down here, Acrobat for Samsung, the full name is there, but just because it shows that the name is cut off on the preview, it doesn't necessarily mean it'll be that way on the real thing. So if I go ahead and go back to my app page, you'll notice Acrobat for Samsung shows the full name. Now, depending on the length of the app name, it may actually get cut off on your app page. So it's just something that I want you to keep in mind and maybe take a look at if you decide you wanna mess with this. A couple other things is you may have an app name that hyphenates, so you'll see right here, Ameritrade is Amera hyphen trade, but on your actual app page, it might just say Ameritrade on one line, or you might have an app like Adobe Scan right here where the name shows up on two lines, but maybe on the actual app page, it just shows up on one line. So just a couple other things to look out for. So once you have made your decision and you're happy with how it looks, you can go ahead and hit save and it'll apply your choice. Or if you decide you don't want to change it, you can go ahead and hit cancel right here. So I'll just go ahead and hit save. And now if we go back to the home screen and then scroll up again to go to that app page, 
you'll see that my changes were applied. All right, so that's how you change the number of apps per page on the Samsung Galaxy S21 app page. Feel free to check out all my other S21 videos in the playlist in the top left corner. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. You can also follow my Instagram in the description below. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.